Welcome. My name is Bruce Madsen, and today's topic, our wellness moment, is longevity. So there's been prolonged studies done worldwide on large populations, not one person that lived to 105 or 110 or 122, but areas where a big enough population, you can say, there's a big group here, and they have 25 times more people making it to 100 as men than in America. Whoa, what are they doing right? So those areas of study were known as blue zones. They were colored in blue on the map. So let's talk about those pillars of longevity. Surprisingly, high sunlight areas. Well, sunlight causes skin cancer. Yes. Does it do anything good for you? Yes. So I'm not saying more sunlight, better health, but it can promote mood elevation. It can promote outdoor activity. It can promote a lot of good things in the chemistry of vitamin D and other things. So protect your skin from getting burned. Don't overexpose, but don't be afraid completely of the sun. A second pillar of the blue zones where people live extremely long is they tend not to overeat and they tend to eat mostly plants, but I don't believe any of them were exclusively vegetarian or vegan. So not too much food, mostly plants. That's another pillar. So we've got two pillars of longevity. Number three, regular exercise. We want to stir the blood. I don't think I'm going for a bike ride. I think well, I've been sitting. That's the business lifestyle. And when others may take a smoke break, I take an exercise break. And I feel good about my five to seven minutes multiple times of day of stirring the blood. I lie on my floor and I do a series of exercises for my back. So that's a third pillar of longevity. Another pillar of longevity is adequate sleep. So what is adequate sleep? That's somewhere between seven and eight and a half hours. And if you're adrenalized or running on high octane fuel, it's harder to get to sleep, it's harder to stay asleep, and it's harder to maintain that full sleep cycle. What's another pillar of longevity? Half your weight in ounces per day of water. We're somewhere between 65 and 68% water. Dehydration makes your blood thicker and stickier. So we want adequate hydration. It's good for the heart health. It's good for um, lubricating your joints. It's a big part of your cells. So make sure that you're adequately hydrated. The thing I like about it that's a side benefit is if I drink water, then I have to get up and move and go have a comfort break or a biological break. So it has a second dairy benefit. One of the biggest pillars of longevity, social support. With COVID, we had a lot of social isolation. People in rest homes, old folks home, nursing homes couldn't have visitors. And I had a friend tell me, if I can't hug my grandchildren, it's not worth being alive. We also couldn't see part of people's faces. We couldn't smile uh, and be seen. We had low facial recognition. We had less hugging, uh, less handshaking, and we saw a huge spike, about 37% in uh, opioid overdose deaths. So develop a good social network, have close friends, people that you can be very honest with, people that would miss you if you weren't there, and you would miss them if they weren't in your life. Thank you 
for this moment on longevity.